going to see how the audio mixer in Hophog Capture can be used to add commentary to a recording. We're using an HD PVR2 for this example. In this test, the audio video source is a cable TV box connected to the HD PVR2 using the HDMI import on the HD PVR2. But you can also use the audio mixer in Hophog Capture to add commentary while recording from a PC's HDMI port. So, for example, you could record a Zoom conference coming from your PC and add your local commentary to that recording. After opening Hophog Capture, let's take a look at Mixer. The Mixer is where you select your microphone. If you have several microphones plugged into your PC, you'll see them both listed here. For example, you might have a USB microphone and a microphone plugged into the pink mic in jack on the back of your computer. You'll see them both here. Choose the one that you want to have the audio mixed with your main audio. The game is not really game. The game is uh, the audio coming from the audio in selection uh, just above. So for example, if we have HDMI audio, the HDMI audio volume adjustment will be done in the game line. If you have um, the microphone, if you want to adjust the microphone audio, that's on the line that says microphone. There's one other feature that you might want to use with audio. If you click the advanced button, then go to audio encoder, there's a button at the bottom which is marked use multiple audio tracks for recordings. The HDPVR2 has the ability to either mix together your microphone audio plus the main audio onto one track or it has the ability to put the microphone audio on a separate audio track. This is nice, for example, if you're in Adobe Premiere, you can independently adjust the audio volume on the microphone if it's on a separate track. Once the microphone audio is mixed together with the main audio, then you can adjust the microphone independently of the main audio. We're not going to use that feature for this video, but it's good to know that it's available. Let's make a test now to check that the audio volume of the microphone is not too loud in comparison to the main audio coming in from HDMI. We'll make a recording using the microphone which is plugged into the pink connector on the back of my PC. To make sure that the audio and video are in sync, I'm going to read the ticker that's coming across the bottom of CNBC. It's a handy way to make sure that audio and video from the microphone are in sync and I'm going to mute the rocket microphone to make sure that there's no echo. Now that we've finished the recording, let's play it back. We'll go into the Edit tab and click the Play button. The audio that you hear is the main HDMI audio mixed together with our PC microphone. The audio mixing is done by Hophog Capture. The NASDAQ can, can correct further down, and I, I mentioned kind of those okay, late so June, early where July this levels, microphone is now the one plugged in to I the think back the of my, this week are, uh, my PC, and it's the microphone the Realtek here. Help. So just, just check the audio is. video sync. Uh, I'll read the ticker. Where, uh, Micron, at least seen parts of the Apple, economy, especially the transports, give you a lot Pacific, of reason ethanol, for confidence in terms of leadership, and and they led you all the way down from 2018 into 2019. And transports have been out the market Inc. for the last almost four months now. O2 so Micro many key International, Nvidia. Parts of the market that we're watching right now. So you can see you can add microphone audio on top of audio that's coming in from our HDMI port. If you want to record a Zoom conference and you'd like to add some commentary, this is a great way to do it. You simply plug your microphone into the back of the PC. You configure the audio mixer in Hopa Capture and start recording.